Let's go into our Wuji stance. Feet flat on the floor, about shoulder width apart. Feel every part of your foot attached to the ground, nice and even. Let the knees be relaxed, slightly bent. Hips slightly forward. The shoulders drop down. Arms come around in front. Like the top of the head is being lifted upward, elongating the spine. Tuck the chin in just a little bit. Breathe in and out through the nose. Nice deep abdominal breathing. Just feel your feet sinking into the ground, your energy connecting with the center of the earth. Just notice the breath coming in and out through the nose and the coolness as it enters the nose, going all the way down to your lower Dantian. And then in the pause, feel your lower Dantian warming. And then as you exhale, feel that warm breath come all the way up and out your nose. Take another pause and then breathe in again. Let's step out slightly wider stance. We're nice and stable, feel well grounded. Place your palms down by the lower Dantian and just turn gently from side to side, leaving the palms and the arms in the same place. Each time get around a little further, try to stay flat on the feet. Each time you get a little bit further around, loosening up the spine. And do this at a couple of different levels. Now just raise your hand up, hands up about three inches or so. Twisting like this stimulates, especially the meridians running along the back. You have the Ren meridian and the bladder meridian. Along with the bladder meridian, you have what's called shoe points. By stimulating those shoe points, we're stimulating every organ in the body. 
Let's raise them up another three inches. So we're now about the level of the heart. Should feel a little more in the mid to upper back. Now raise it up to about the level of the throat. You should feel it more in the upper back, shoulders. And then drop it back down to the height of the heart. And down to the diaphragm. And then down to the lower dantian. Move your hands a little bit further apart. Just a, little, or a little more now out to your sides. Try to feel that energy field around you, interacting with your fingers, your hands. And then just let your arms drop, relax, let them drop down and let the momentum carry them into the body. Look over the shoulder. Get a little further around. Forearms striking the area of the lower Dantian in front and the Ming Men point in the back. And with a loose open fist, let's let the arms swing up and hit in front of the shoulder, the lung points. And then let your hands come over the top of the shoulder, hitting behind the neck. Stimulating gallbladder, triple warmer meridian. And come back down to the front of the shoulder. And 
and come back down to the lower down 10. And slow it down, just let your hands move through the air. Feel the air moving between the fingertips. Feel the Wei Chi field. Providing some resistance as your hands move through there. And slow it down. Bring your feet to a little closer together. Back to the Wuji stance. And just start shaking up and down on the knees. Let the rest of the body totally relax. And the wrists start shaking, the elbows start shaking, the head starts shaking. Let's just get all that energy moving through the body, breaking up the areas of stagnation, breaking open those blockages. Breathe in through the nose, now through the mouth. Now just really let yourself go, kind of just do it free form, just kind of let just shake however your body wants. Nice and vigorous, obviously not enough to do yourselves any harm, just should feel good. Your body should say, oh yeah, I want to do that. Go ahead, raise your hands up. Shake them with the wrists. And turn them the opposite way. Now to the sides. And up above. And down low. And again, just kind of let your body shake it out. However it wants to do it. second or so more. Good, and just relax. Go back to the Wuji stance and just feel that energy surging through your body. Just take a moment to reflect and look inward. Notice what's going on in the body. Notice where you may have some energy stagnation or blockages, muscle tension or pain. Just identify it, move on. By identifying it, we're facilitating healing. Good. Let's do posture called pushing the boat. So putting our hands up about shoulder width apart, we're going to bend at the knees and pull down and then come back up. So just imagine you're just trying, you're 
out on, let's say, a paddle board. And you're lying on that paddle board and you're trying to push it through the water. Breathe in through the nose, out through the mouth. Breathe out as you come down, breathe in as you come up. Pump with the legs. A few more. Slow it down. Good. Let's do the elephant. So a little wider stance, knees bent. Start down with the, both hands in front of you with your knees bent as much as comfortable. And then we're gonna straighten the knees as we let the arms go up and down. So as the arms come up, you straighten up. As you go down, you bend your knees. Few more. And slow it down. Just gradually, don't just stop. Good. We're gonna flap our wings. So again, a little bit of a wider stance. You're gonna bend over slightly, nice flat back. And with your arms in front of you, just flap the wings. Now get some up and down on the knees. more. And slow it down. Good. Let's do crane flaps its wings. We're going to just bring our hands up to shoulder height. So we breathe in. Breathe out, bring them down. As you breathe in, bring them all the way up over your head. Let the wrists cross and back down. Breathe in back to shoulder height. And then all the way up. Breathe in and out through the nose. Now use your legs as well. And look up when you do the one over the head. Nice and slow and easy. One more set, shoulder over the head and relax. Let's do eight arm rotation. So we're gonna first do what we call circling the arm down. But we're gonna start with our palm up. So the palm comes around 
behind you and then turns. So we're rotating the hand as it comes around in the shoulders. So the whole arm is rotating in the shoulder socket, not only in the circular fashion, but also because of where the position of the palm. One more time and switch to the opposite side. Get the body nice and straight, good posture. We're just turning out of the shoulder socket. One more time. Good. Come back to where the arm you started with, palm down, come up and around. And switch. And settle it back down, come back to the first arm. This time, palm down, go down and then around. So it's palm up in the back, palm down in the front. One more time. Good, and switch. One more. Good. It's just clear to the lungs. So bring your feet together, palms up. As you breathe in, rise up on your toes, bring it up to the chest and then breathe out, push it down. Twice more. Good. So now we're just going to put, leave our hands down. Let's do owl looks back. So we're going to push our hands slightly back, thumbs down. As we look over the shoulder, the thumbs rotate and come up. And then they rotate back to the central point. And then they rotate around as you look over the opposite shoulder. Breathe out as you look out. Breathe in as you come back to the center. In and out through the nose. One more time each side. Come back.
back to the middle. Now let's do golden cock eats rice. And remember on this one, the idea is when we're going up, we're not bending the head back. We don't want to crimp the back of the neck here, affect any of the nerves coming out of the spine. We want to lead with the chin so that we're getting the stretch out of the front of the chin. And then when the head comes down, the chin points to the floor, but forward so that you feel the stretch all through the back of the neck, but you're not tightening down the neck. So I'm not doing this because you can hear what that does. I'm doing this. So we breathe in, lead with the chin, breathe out, point the chin out and towards the floor. One more time each. Good. Let's do rooster spreads, it's feathers. So take your hands, especially the heels of the hand, push down and back slightly. So it's like that. So you should feel the tension all the way down the arms, the outside of the arms. Just drop your head to the left. Push down, especially with the right. And just breathe into it and let everything just stretch out. Try to relax the shoulders. And come back to center, relax the hands, shake the fingers out, shake the shoulders out, shake the neck out. Nice deep clearing breath. And then back to rooster spreads its feathers, head now going to the right. Try to put the ear to the shoulder. Obviously, it's not going to touch the shoulder. That's fine. Point is, you're coming in flat this way. You're not turning. Just try to relax as much as possible as you feel the stretch coming all the way down the side of the head, neck, shoulder, and the outside of the arm. Couple seconds more. Good. Bring it back to center. Let everything relax. Shake out the fingers. Shake out the wrists. Shake out the shoulders. Shake the head out. Let's go to a wide stance. Heart to the sky, just open the lungs up, look up, bend the knees. You have a nice stable platform. Just imagine the sun shining down on you, feeling all of that energy on your face, your chest. Just absorb that for a moment. Just breathe it in. Let your shoulder blades come together. Lean back as much as comfortable. Always staying within your comfort zone. Good, and swan dive down. And just hang. Let the neck relax. Let your shoulders relax, your back. 
Each time you exhale, just let your body drop a little closer to the floor. Drop down to a squat, putting your elbows on your thighs, come into a nice seated position. So your head now is pointing towards the ceiling. If this is easy for you, drop your hands, <clears throat> take the elbows off, drop your arms and hands between the legs. It's called water buffalo. Put your hands on your thighs, come straight up. Now, don't bend the back at all, come straight up. Good. Let's do a couple more for the legs. If you need a chair or something to hold on to, that's absolutely fine. Let's do first swish, swish. So if you remember, we lift our knee Find that focal point about 12 feet in front of you. Make sure you're looking at that, concentrating on that as you're doing these exercises. We're gonna lift the knee. We're gonna come across, back to the center, lift down. So it's out, swish, swish, up. Swish, swish, up. Swish, swish, up. Two more. Good. Shake it out a little bit. Actually, let's just rise up under toes. Let's clear the lungs. Good. Now swish, swish on the other leg, which is gonna be harder because you probably started on your strong one. Body protects you. So lift, come across, cross up. Cross, cross, up. Too busy looking at you guys. Two more. Good, shake it out. So this one we're gonna do a little differently. This is called swing the legs forward and back. So you're gonna lift from the knee and then you're gonna push back. So it's, and again, find that focal point. Good, shake it out a little bit. Now do the opposite leg, so lift, push back. One more time, good, shake it out. Clear to the lungs. Good, go to a slightly wider stance, bring down the heavens. Palms up as you breathe in. Breathe out, push that energy down through the top of your head, down your body, down your legs into the ground, twice more. Good, let's do one arm pebble in the pond. 
So nice, stable stance. We've got our palms up. As the left hand comes out, it goes palm down. It goes around as you shift weights. We're gonna, sorry, I didn't tell you to do a wider stance on this. You're gonna shift weight and then you come back to center. When you shift over to this side, now this hand comes out, goes around. The idea here is as you're pushing out, try and imagine there's this pond of water in front of you and you're running your fingers along the surface. So it's almost like you're standing in the pool at waist high and you're just running your hands along the surface of the water. Couple more. Last one. Good. And just take a nice deep clearing breath. Bring your hands up to the height of your chest, your heart. Back of the hands face each other. Your hips go out as the arms then move out. Then the hands rotate to the palms up as the hips come forward. Bear swims in the ocean. Couple more. Come back to the chest. Bring your hands into the prayer position. Open it up, heart to the sky. Look up. But this time, palms up as you come back. Thumb and fing first finger touch, collapse in. Really squeeze that in here. So your shoulders come forward, you're squeezing this whole area. Then you open it up. Palms down as you go up, really open up that chest. Get the shoulder blades to squeeze together. And then when you come back, Collapse the chest, open up the shoulder blades, move the shoulders themselves forward. Lung flow. One more time. Good, bring your hands back to the prayer position. Put the knuckles of your thumbs right into the sternum. Relax the shoulders.
Bring your feet together. As your hands come up, intertwine all fingers except for the pointer finger. Bring them all the way up, come up onto your toes. Breathe out as you come back. All right, breathe in, breathe out as you go up. One more time. Come back to the prayer position. Bring your hands out and down by your sides. Go back to shoulder width height. Connecting to the earth energy. Bring the hands up over the top of the head. So they form a triangle with the thumb and the first finger. Bring that down the body. and then turn that triangle towards the ground and continue down. Then bring the triangle back up, flatten it out to the heart. Then push from the heart out. Then back of the hands come together, fingers curl around, fingers point into the heart or the middle Dantian. And we start over. Breathe out as you go down. Pause. Breathe in as you come up to the middle Dantian. Pause. Breathe out. Pause, gather that energy, breathe it into the middle Dantian. Breathe out, breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. One more time. Now do it again, but we're gonna change it up a little bit. So breathe out, breathe in, breathe out all the way down.
breathe back into the middle dantian. Breathe out and hold. Feel the energy in your heart, in your middle dantian. Picture red light. Feel the warmth of that loving energy. And now project that energy through this triangle out into the universe. Just send that healing, loving, compassionate energy out. Now picture all of those individuals, things in nature, in the universe that just might need a little extra energy, a little extra support, a little extra love. Try to picture them and send out red cords from the middle Dantian out through that triangle, out to each and every one of them, connecting to each one individually. And just imagine each one absorbing the energy through that string. Imagine them bringing this energy bringing a smile to their face or happiness if they can't smile. moment more. Now curl your fingers together. Point them towards the heart. Nice deep breath in. And leave your fingers pointing into your middle Dantian, into your heart and feel all that loving, compassionate energy going into your middle Dantian. Too often we give to others and we forget about ourselves. Bring that energy in, fill the middle Dantian, your heart with this warm, loving red light with compassion, love, generosity of spirit, forgiveness. Just breathe it in and feel the entire chest filling with this energy. Let it flow outward from the chest, up the torso, through and out the top of the head, down the torso, the hips, the legs, and into the ground.
Nice deep breath in. Drop the hands down. We do it one more time. Triangle. Breathe out. Breathe in. Send that energy out as you breathe out. Breathe in, bringing energy back into you. Drop the hands down. Bring down the heavens as we bring the feet fairly close together, pushing that energy down through the top of the head down the torso, down the legs, into the ground, as one hand goes over the other. Take your left palm, turn it up. Sorry, right palm. Left scoops up the energy. Thumb and first finger separate. The other fingers are nice and loose. Thumb faces the center of the body and comes down your central line. When you get to the bottom, you switch. Breathe in as you come up. Breathe out as you go down. That gap between the thumb and the first finger is called the tiger's mouth. Try to feel the energy coming out of the tiger's mouth interacting with your central line. Interacting with your Wei Chi field. Balancing out the energies of the three Dantians. One more time. And we're gonna do it again, but we're gonna stop at each one of the Dantians just briefly. Stop at the forehead and just notice the energy growing, expanding in the upper Dantian. Drop it down to the middle Dantian. Feel that energy glowing and expanding. Come down to the lower Dantian switch. Stop at the upper Dantian. Just let that energy expand outward, surrounding your head, your neck. Drop down to the middle Dantian and that energy expanding outward. Interacting with the sphere of energy above it. And drop both hands down to the middle Dantian, one hand over the other, either interlace the thumbs or hold at the wrist. Place your palm about two inches below the belly button. Just feel that energy entering the middle Dantian or the lower Dantian. Just let that lower Dantian absorb that energy as your body relaxes and rocks and sways, moved by the energy that's moving outward from the lower Dantian. Moving through your torso, spiraling down your legs, filling every part of your body, interacting with the spheres of the middle and the upper Dantian until they're all one. Your body is a glow Removed all darkness, all stagnation, all negative thoughts and emotions. And as that energy moves out from your physical body, it surrounds you in a protective cocoon. Allow yourself to float weightlessly inside this cocoon.
and begin to notice what it feels like to be safe. to be healthy, to be at peace. Take a deep breath in, gather those energies and take them with you for the rest of the day. Thank you.